I met him. Uh, I looked at him and he... Uh, well, this... It just came to me like this. That this is the son of man that the Bible said that will uh, prophesy that will come in the last days of the world. And that uh, I couldn't get that out of me. And I shook hands with him and I said to him, I say, you are the one that the Bible prophesies that will come at the end of the world under the name Son of Man and under the name the Second Coming of Jesus. And so he looked at me a little stern and then he smiled and he put his head down to my, uh, beside my head and whispered in my ear and said these words. He said, yes, I am the one, but who knows that uh, but yourself? And uh, be quiet. He used to teach me uh, night and day. We used to sit some time from uh, early part of the night until sunrise and after sunrise, all night long for about two years or more. He was with us three years a little better, and uh, I was constantly around him, and he was constantly teaching me of uh, things to, of Islam and, and what is to come and what was before, and that my work uh, from him is to uh, teach my people these facts and to reform them and make them what they should be as they are children, uh, as the Bible teaches from God, but they are lost in evil and practice evil and that they must now forego evil and accept righteousness because they are creatures of righteousness. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad the eternal leader of the nation of Islam. Known by many as the messenger of Allah, remembered as the teacher of great men and the sole reformer of the mentally dead black man and woman of America. He's deeply loved by the righteous and bitterly hated by the enemies of God. Regardless of what you know or how you feel, the truth of the matter is, he is the exalted Christ. And as it is with all truth, it doesn't need your or my agreement to make it real. You either accept it or you let it alone. Here at NFA Studios, we've been gifted with a near complete library of the classic Muhammad Speaks newspaper published and distributed by the Nation of Islam throughout the 1960s. We took great joy in receiving this gift and we just knew we couldn't keep this one to ourselves. Some nights I would look through the paper and be absolutely blown away and honestly overwhelmed by the magnificence of this paper. It's almost as if I had the chance to step into an entirely different world altogether. Every page is filled in great abundance with business ads and now hiring for any kind of business you can think of. Clothing factories, dry cleaners, restaurants, auto insurance, mechanic shops, watch repair, taxi services, beauty salons, barber shops, whatever you can think of, it was there, advertised and supported by this great newspaper. And they were all black owned. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad saw to it that his people, every black man, woman, and child in America had no reason to look to the white man for anything. He proved that we could satisfy all our own needs and live as an independent and proud people. Additionally, he supported writers and reporters from all over the country and the world so that every week our people were most informed of what was going on everywhere in the world. And on top of that, every single edition has at least two to four different sections written by the messenger of Allah himself. Oftentimes, there's a transcription of a major speech given just the week prior, and there are several articles he wrote especially for each edition of the paper. We're yet to come across a reprint. It's truly an overwhelming experience to try and take it all in at once. It's clear, however, that many of the words he wrote have not seen the light of day since their original printing or since he spoke these words. It's safe to assume many of these lectures may have not been recorded as audio and video recording equipment 
were not as accessible as they are today. So, in an effort to shine a light on this body of knowledge, frozen in time yet perfectly up to date, today we're going to begin with volume three, number two of Muhammad Speaks. This article is entitled, Allah is Judging Today. Bear in mind, when this paper was released, the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing in Birmingham, Alabama had just occurred nearly a month prior. So without further ado, let's read a word from the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Today is the day in which the God of justice, Allah, is judging between man and man and nation and nation. To understand the present, we must learn of the past. We are 4,000 years from Moses, and Moses was 2,000 years after the creation of the Caucasian race, or 2,000 years after the fathers of the Caucasian, or white race, of Europe. This makes 6,000 years from the time of the birth or grafting of the Caucasian race. In 4,000 years of the white man's rule, they have practiced and exercised their power and authority over us, as was divinely given to them. The trouble going on between the so-called Negroes and the American white people, who have always shown themselves to be the enemies and haters of their slaves, the so-called Negroes, this thing must come to an end. So God himself intervenes to make manifest the two people. Everything that is of good, according to recorded history, has trouble in its infancy, but as it grows, it triumphs in the end. The so-called Negroes must know the truth. This is the only way to bring them into the light of truth, as they are spiritually blind to the knowledge of the truth of themselves and of their enemies. And no one can bring them into this knowledge of themselves but God himself. Prophets of God can only deliver the truth to the people. But to make them believe, see, and understand it, and accept or reject it, this must come from God. It took the destruction of the people of Korah by Almighty God to make Israel understand that it was God who had appointed Moses to lead them and that self-made leaders such as Korah would not work in the way of delivering and establishing Israel into another country. Because Allah had chosen Moses to act as a guide for Israel and all other self-made leaders would be failures. He sent poisonous and fiery serpents against them to bite and kill them who rebelled. So this is a warning and a sign for us today that when God intends to separate a people or remove a people and put another in their stead, it is his work and the people who rebel against his work will come to naught. The so-called American Negroes must learn these truths today, that they cannot deliver themselves from the evils they are suffering from the white race without the help of Allah. You see the trouble that our people and the American whites are suffering from the struggle of our people with the few whites on their side to bring about integration between the two races, of which is opposed by God himself. For it is the time that the two people should separate. Thank you, and I hope that you will study over what I have written, that it may help you to understand the time in which you are now living. And what you now see that is making you feel perplexed over it, that it is the time of the resurrection and separation of the lost found members of the black race. Hurry and join on to your own kind. The time of this world is at hand. We hope you gain something from reading this. There is so much that we could explore and expound on, but for now, let it be enough to get our minds working and revolving on thoughts we would have never thought before. Although written 60 years ago, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad's words are right and exact in 2022 and beyond. Thank you for joining us. Join us next time for another edition of Muhammad Speaks.